SwiftUI's environment lets us work with values from an external source, which is useful for things like reading a call data context or a views presentation mode. But we can also send custom objects into the environment and have them read back out later on, which allows us to share data more easily in complex applications. You've seen how at state is used to work with state that's local to a single view, and how at observed object lets us pass one object from view to view so we can share it. Well, at environment object takes that one step further. We can place an object into the environment so that any child view can automatically have access to it. Imagine we had multiple views in an app, all lined up in a chain. View A shows view B, view B shows view C, C shows D, and D shows E. View A and E both want to access the same object, but to get from A to E, you have to go through B, C, and D, and they don't care about that object. If we were using at observed object, we'd have to pass our object from each view to the next until it finally reached view E where it could be used, which is annoying because B, C, and D don't care about it. With at environment object, view A can put the object into the environment. View E can read the object out from the environment, and views B, C, and D don't have to know anything happened. It's much nicer. One complexity with environment objects is what constitutes a child, because what environment objects a view has access to depends on its parent views. For example, if view A has access to an environment object and view B is inside view A, i.e. view B is placed in the body property of A, then view B also has access to that environment object. This means if view A is a navigation view, then all views that are pushed onto the navigation stack have access to the same environment. However, if view A presents view B as a sheet, then they don't automatically share environment data, and we have to send it in by hand. Apple has described this sheet situation as a bug they want to fix, so I'm hopeful this will change in a future update to SwiftUI. There's one last thing before I show you some code. Environment objects use the same observable object protocol you've already learned and SwiftUI will automatically make sure all views that share the same environment object get updated when it changes. Okay, let's look at some code that shows how to share data between two views using environment objects. First, here's some basic data we can work with. Class user conforms to observable object. At published, var name equals Taylor Swift. As you can see, that uses observable object and at published, just like we learned previously all that knowledge you built up continues to pay off. Next, we can define two Swift UI views to use our new class. These will use the at environment object property wrapper to say that the value of this data comes from the environment rather than being created locally. Struct edit view conforms to view, at environment object var user, user. Var body, some view. Text field, name, text, $user.name. Struct display view conforms to view. At environment object, var user, user. Var body, some view, text, user.name. That at environment property wrapper will automatically look for a user instance in the environment and place whatever it finds into the user property. If it can't find a user in the environment, your code will just crash, so please be careful. We can now bring those two views together in one place and send in a user instance for them to work with. Let user equals user, vstack, edit view, dot environment object, user. Display view, environment object, user. And that's all it takes to get our code working. You can run the app now and change the text field to see its value appear in the text view below. Of course, we could have done this in a single view, but this way you can see exactly how seamless the communication is when using environment objects. Now, here's the clever part. Try rewriting the body property of content view to this. I'll delete this environment object modifier and this one and add it down here instead. Dot environment object user. What you'll find is that it works identically. We're now placing user into the environment of content view, 
but because both edit view and display view are children of content view, they inherit its environment automatically. Now you might wonder how SwiftUI makes a connection between environment object user and at environment object var user is a user. How does it know to place that object into the correct property? Well, you've seen how dictionaries let us use one type for the key and another type for the value. The environment effectively lets us use data types themselves for the key and an instance of the type as the value. This is a bit mind bending at first, but imagine it like this. The keys are things like int, string and bool, with the values being things like five, hello and true. Which means we can say, give me the int and we'd get back five. 